He is the man of the moment, but how long will the moment last? Boris Johnson was clearly enjoying meeting the other heads of government at the EU summit today. They are desperately hoping this deal will stick, and he is hoping the same. It means that uh, we can deliver a real Brexit that achieves our objectives, and it means that the UK leaves whole and entire on October the 31st, and, it, uh, first, and I hope very much now, speaking of elected representatives, that uh, my fellow MPs in, uh, in Westminster uh, do now uh, come together uh, to get uh, Brexit done. The two sides think they've squared the circle on the unique situation for Northern Ireland. So Northern Ireland will stay fully aligned to the EU's rules and standards on goods, but it will leave the EU Customs Union along with the rest of the UK. But any goods that enter Northern Ireland and then pass on to Ireland will pay customs duties at EU rates and the UK will enforce it. The Northern Ireland Assembly at Stormont will vote after four years on whether it wants to carry on with that arrangement. The EU heads of government know that Parliament in London will be a problem, so they're positive but cautious. Are you happy? Is the deal done? I am happy, I am positive, but uh, I am also cautious because uh, now we will see if it's possible for the British Parliament to, uh, to uh, agree, uh, but it's an important step. The President of the European Commission has lived through three years of talks. He wants them to be coming to an end as well. So today he was asked, would he rule out any delay beyond October the 31st? Yes, we have a deal, so why should we have a prorogation? Well, what if Parliament, the UK Parliament votes against it? I am not in charge of Westminster. Back in Westminster, the Democratic Unionists, despite the hours of meetings in Downing Street, have said they won't back this deal. And the leader of the opposition has said the same. We believe the deal he's proposed is heading Britain in the direction of a deregulated society with a sell-off of national assets to American corporations. So, as it stands, we cannot support this deal and will oppose it in Parliament on Saturday. For now, Boris Johnson can soak up the congratulations, but as his predecessor found, getting a deal with the EU is just half the job. A reckoning in Westminster on Saturday awaits. Andy Bell, 5 News, Brussels.